opened okay. up an office in Dubai, uh, which will take care of the Middle Eastern region, uh, which will also do whatever we do. Plus, um, you know, Indian Rail is a very important. Uh, there are five million Indians staying there, so that's a large, large piece there. Okay. Um, yes, I mean that's that's also that's the key bread and butter of the company. But 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 you know, the newer business is what we are investing in right now. Uh, six hotels uh, coming up over the next uh, six years, and uh, all the other detailed plans. I think that is something which will get the uh, group more into limelight because obviously most of the other things are more in yeah. B2B businesses B2B and the back end. Businesses. Indeed, we're going to talk about, of course, the, the hospitality side of it, which seems like uh, a business that the Bird Group wants to grow, but that's going to be in just a bit. Brought to you by Mastercard and Maestro. Accepted wherever you're traveling. You're watching Tea Time with me, Shelly Chopra. My special guest is Ankur Bhati of the Bird Group. Ankur, so what has been the golf journey like and how, how many times do you think you'll be able to make golf holidays? You're the man who's got best access to travel across here in India. Well, um, I'd be very true with you and frank with you that due to the preoccupation and especially the expansion of the hotel and hospitality, it's been very, very difficult for me to actually devote time to the only game which I actually play and I, and I love. This is the only um, game that you play? That's the only game I play. How, I mean, how I did do, that happen? Well, I, uh, uh, um, you know, necessary was always playing golf. I did not have any affiliation to any other sport earlier, so I okay. used to spend a lot of time doing and, and playing golf. Um, but uh, yes, I mean, I've actually been to some nice courses internationally. I've been Tell to, me about this. Uh, I've been to Turnberry, which is very nice yeah. in, uh, um, in Scotland, as is one of the very, very, very nice courses. Um, and um, I, I, I would be, uh, you know, wrong to say that if I, you know, I, I do tend to, uh, if, I, if I'm traveling abroad, I do uh, see that if I do get a chance. But again, I mean, it gets very limited because I, you know, do my day trips essentially even to Europe. Um, having said that, that, that the hospitality angle for me again is, is kicking in and uh, I'm looking definitely to do golf resorts as well. You are? Um, if, and in if, India? Uh, in India only. If it makes, uh, if, if I do get a nice place, nice land and of course a captive audience in that particular yeah. town or city or whatever. So this um, hospitality is becoming a semi uh, real estate play for you? No, I don't think so. I think it's been only concentrated. You know, if, if I was looking at it as a real estate play completely, then I don't think uh, the numbers do make sense for me to do kind of kind of luxury hotels, which I'm actually doing. Uh -huh. uh, but no, it's definitely a, a, a hospitality, hospitality okay. uh, fray. Like for example, in Goa, we've got a land which is 22 acres, um, and uh, we've got a restriction that we can't build for zero to 200 meters because from the coast. From the coast. Yes. And that land gets available, so you know we might uh, put in you know some holes there uh, it, because it's a large, large, like 20, 25 acres. It's 10 acres of land. 50% of land actually goes in there. So, you know, stuff like that. And again, I mean, in Jaipur as well, we've got a larger land, so maybe yeah. nearby there. What is we the can... branding that you're giving to these uh, hospitals? We uh, did a hospitals. long, I mean, we did a lot of work in terms of branding, and uh, we had appointed Ernst & Young to actually do a, a, a report or, or a partner search for us, and we've decided with, to go ahead with a joint venture for management, and the management with... company is called, um, it's with Dusit Thani from Thailand. Okay. Um, and the hotels are going to be uh, co-branded between Bird and Dusit. Um, so they've got uh, lots of brands. They've got the high-end luxury, which is called the Dusit Devranas. Yeah. They've got Dusit Thani's, which is the five-star brand. And they've got the Dusit Princess, which is uh, three-star Dusit Residences. And Dusit D2, which is a newer, newer designer but kind of brand. But you're still an unlisted entity. We are. And Where's I don't the money think... coming from? <laughs> well, um, the lands which we've had, we acquired over the years. Um, and of course, a lot of it uh, uh, comes in through the cash flows of the existing businesses, what we have. Uh, for hospitality in particular, we've decided that we will uh, take uh, debt. Uh, and that is for the first time in a company that we're actually taking debt. What uh, kind of debt would you need? Because this is um, real estate. As I mentioned to you, uh, we are not leveraging our assets completely. We're leveraging our assets to a certain extent because the cost of land has gone over the years that I've sort of taken. So I think it's 30% uh, of the land which gets leveraged to actually take money to build 
uh, the asset. What would that be in crores? Um, uh, the overall project cost is nearly $400 million, including the cost of land at, at today's days. Um, and um, we're looking at, you know, 20% of that is debt and all of that. The uh, rest of it is all uh, uh, through accruals, which we've actually acquired land. The first asset which we're building in Delhi. So Hotel which is the cash machine in the business? Uh, all of it. I mean, as I mentioned to you, we do travel, trans uh, travel transactions, travel, travel business, travel services, representation of airlines. Um, I would not say that there is one cash machine which generates shitloads of cash or whatever. All the businesses are giving good returns because most of them, been, um, you know, the incumbent stage of them have actually gone through. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, for example, the Amadeus business is nearly 20 years. Um, the travel business, essentially, where we started, uh, my parents uh, started in 1973. So we've had... Um, are, are times where, um, you know, most of the investments have been obviously paid off yeah. um, and, okay. and it's generating cash now. Great. So we've got a sense of the journey with Ankur. Now we'll talk about what lies ahead beyond hospitality and what are his ambitions. But that's after our next shot. Tell me, Ankur, about experiences on the golf course. We keep talking about the fact that your business is indeed on the course. Right. But how are things shaping up for you as you travel across the world and get to meet more golfers and sort of expand your golfing uh, horizon? I think all golfers um, are, 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 their aptitude towards business is, there is some commonality always. Yeah. Uh, I think that's very, that, you know, I mean, the way they actually tackle situations, I think that's what my experience has been, that uh, if you've learned the game of golf ever, and even if you're not playing it, um, you, the, the, their strategies, um, their fullness actually to go out. But if you've actually played it for certain years, I think there is a bit of a commonality. And that actually helps strategize, that actually helps think what the other person is actually thinking mm. uh, about a particular situation. Um, Any golfers you ended up hiring? Uh, well, I, in, in the necessary, I mean, in the, the, uh, the current business, which I have, not necessary, but yes, uh, moving ahead in the future in hospitality, I would definitely have uh, people, general managers, and specifically people who are actually interacting with the guests, okay. have at least have some kind of a golfing experience. And that's because you believe that, like your experience, say, in this DLF yeah, course? Yeah, I think luxury is, uh, again, I mean, and in golf is always considered luxury across the world. And again, I mean, if you, you get a sense of luxury once you've actually been through the game of golf. Uh, okay. I think that is very important for people to digest to actually because they're handling guests who are most of the time have had the experience in golf and I think it's always good to uh, sure. you know have that experience. for a very long time. There's a very famous English uh, phrase called fair weather. To catch you in conversation. So, Ankur, tell me, now that we've uh, got a sense of how things are shaping up for the current, you know, market for you, what is the future of the group? Uh, would you sort of go in for an IPO or something with this entire uh, mini conglomerate? Uh, I think eventually yes, because uh, at, at, at the end of the day, I need to uncork certain kind of a value uh, 